What 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 shut me down from him though is when he said, "I train Russian kids." I know, and G Man. I was like, <laughs> "Yes, stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> stop did it right you, now." Did you, did you? Somebody pointed out that did you hear what he said though about G Man, the, the the racial comment? No, because my brain was spinning a hundred miles a minute. Because every... either till later, but he said sometimes somebody needs to smack G Man in the eye. Oh my God! In heaven. Yes. No. Now this is his friend that he says his friend. He said that about his his. Uh, his That's friend. his friend. Yeah. Well, and G Man doesn't need any enemies. He better keep making them. Um. So the next question, though, Shannon, is how do we top that? Why would why do you fucking want to? That that's the important question. Only, Kyle, God all, damn it! You're only as good as your last. Uh, Crazy controversy. controversy. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I don't know if I. Kyle, that you know, was like it changed an incel. Yeah, that took some time. Literally, a uh, she. You know about the incel community. No, no, I, 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 I saw that of episode, and there was a point where that was shut down. That the, the, he finally said the shittiest comment that he was gonna say that. Oh, which one, Catfish Man? Yes. Oh yeah, like, not yeah, him. Yeah, I didn't oh, yeah, it was at the point where he said, "No, I catfish." And, I meant to, and I'm still. And that's where I lost it. my mind. And then that's where you lost your mind. It's like, okay, if you're willing to do yeah. that, we no longer want to talk. Yeah, about I have a line, and it's my line is I can be very, very patient about poor ideas and yeah. try to understand where they come from so that they can be countered. Oops. But once you once you get to the point that you are actively harming people, especially if yeah. you're not remorseful and you're doing it on purpose, that's my line. And but, then I'm no the longer going is, to be cordial with you. Right. But, but, but the point is, is they deserve. Oh yeah, yeah. Of, that that was the what? attitude they had. But on the flip side of oh, it, they yeah. is so right. one oh one. They we deserve had five it. strings on that, right? We had five mm -hmm. incel strings. Right. We talked to the guy who who owns the largest um incel forum, right. incel.is. Oh, where, where all that stuff right. goes on, where all the like the, the evil, ugly stuff goes on. Right. Yeah. Um he came on and he put on a, a really like good face, somebody like like you do for damage control, right? Um then we had uh, we had two incels that actively are there and that just said awful things. Now, the first time they came on, the first time uh, King Gibbs came on, yeah, he was that's when I read his, his homophobic rant. Right. Yeah. And I kicked him off because that was too far. Like he was saying all of this right. like awful stuff. He emailed me back after that and said, "Look, I see where you were right. Can I come on? Let's talk about this." He is doing like the second time that he came on, we actually got him. To lead the forum. AV guy. <laughs> the AV guy take it over. This is this is uh, I can't tell you how. Um, oh no, uh, it's just looking at side of Kyle right now. Uh, That's okay. Hello. <laughs> Literally a, a Lucas film. <laughs> <laughs> and right now we're looking at a wall and Christie. I can't and see. And part of Dan. <laughs> All a Kyle, I, I don't know if you know this, Kyle, but have you looked at the Inso Wiki? There's an inso wiki, no. and there is oh, yeah. There's an inso. Check it out. There's an inso wiki. There's. Before you say that, let me let me finish this, and then I'll, I'll go to you. Let me just finish this last little bit. Um, he uh he came on a stream with Shannon and I. Shannon and I talked to him. By the end of that stream, he said, "I'm going to I'm going to leave the the inso forum," and we didn't think much of it. No, we didn't. But to this day, he is still in contact with. He still contacts me like uh. You know, yeah. three times a week he's doing well he's doing voiceover um stuff for different channels he's on fiverr that was one of my like I yeah that was one of your suggestions you need to go and like do that because you have the, the voice for it and so uh, shannon actually turned a in sales around and he is in contact with me three times a week wow. he's doing amazing he's doing voiceover work he left all that stuff behind so um, that's why you need to be patient with people when yes, they're spouting craziness right. because people come to that craziness not Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, you know what, I'm going to be a reprehensible asshole. Mm. People wake up in the morning Except and... Ricky. Except <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> he probably does. Yeah, that's his affirmation. Yeah. <laughs> most, most people, when they, like, they, they come to that for a reason. Like They've either had poor reasoning yeah. that has led them to that, or they've, ha they've had a combination of poor reasoning coupled with harm, and it's some sort yeah. of defensive mechanism. Mm -hmm. And if you keep coming at them, you're just going to further entrench them. Right. So that's why when people say, you know what, shut down those conversations, I'm thinking, to, I think to myself, you know what, have you ever changed Thank your you. mind? That's have the, you ever changed your mind? That's, that's, that's like saying that no one can ever change their mind and you don't want them to. That's the important thing. That goes to the platform. Then what are we doing? To the platform yeah. controversy. That, that, you know, 
right. we were brought in for uh, oh, about a week. The thing is, we, if you yeah, have right. that, if, if you, I, I listen to people about the incel thing, because I have so many people saying, don't talk to these people, you're giving them um, publicity, we don't mm -hmm. need to have talk about bad ideas. It worked. Yes. Yeah. Somebody left. There's one less of those uh, those individuals out there. And he had influence. He was intensely influenced. He was. And he's looking at starting another forum. He was. Where other people will be going with And him. I actually bought that domain. Yeah. Uh, we're, trying oh, to, great. we're trying to get set up. Yeah. Uh, it's called Excels. We're trying to get, what he wants to do is people out. So instead of incels, Excels. So we've got that um, domain. It's just a lot of like work set up. But yeah. he's motivated to do it. And the important thing is, if, when you have those conversations, as difficult as they are and as uncomfortable. And if we hadn't. Air quotes platform them. Right. That's an right. opportunity that would have been there. But you chose how long to keep them on that platform. Because there were yeah. people you were just like, oh no, now you are not. Done. Like yeah. you will not have our platform anymore. Sure, there's a line. Like there, you, know, you have crossed the line. Yeah. You have really met the limit. When you degrade, um, you know, like Shen, I have Shannon on as, as a guest. Like right. she is doing me a favor by coming Absolutely. on. If you come on and you insult her, Right. I'm going to bitch you out and then kick you off. Like, that's just the, the natural. Uh -huh. Charles Ford years ago to insult towards me than I am. I really? Like, yeah, I called like, fuck you, fuck your mom, get out. <laughs> I, was, I was hot that day, too. I was hot that day. <laughs> uh, Steve, Steve, what were you going to say about um, Incel Wiki? Uh, yeah, there, there's an Incel Wiki, and there's actually an entry in King Gigacell. Um, so some strange shit out of the, the, the primary part is that you might get an interest in. He said, it says King Gigacell was a user on incel.co who engaged with a one hour debate with Shannon Q and Kyle from the non sequitur podcast together with Brendan, uh, Brendio, Brendio E triple E. Yeah, it's a, okay. Then it says later King Gigacell disavowed incels to be a member of the discord group of the non sequitur podcast or some dumb shit like that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's 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 a great insult wiki right there. You know what? I'm okay with that though. Okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that too. I love that actually. Uh, you're doing a lot. I've noticed a lot more um, talks places. Like uh, you were recently did one at your um, I believe it was at your school. You're speaking to a class. I think it's the last one you did. The, the most recent one I heard of was actually a, a talk I gave in the south of England. Uh, to it was in like it was in like a room rather than a like a venue, so it kind of yeah. See what it looked like that. Yeah. Way. No, I haven't. I haven't spoken at um, at my university except for once at the union. Um, they, oh the, wow! Yeah, that's the the big room, right? Yeah, they they take they take floor speeches. So there was a debate about the Catholic Church. The motion was uh, its house believes that the Catholic Church can never pay for its sins. And it was a very emotionally charged debate that was incredible. Some of the speakers there, I decided to go to the stage in a minute. But yeah, I've been trying to do a bit more, uh, a bit more public speaking and, and events and things, especially now that I, like, uh, over the summer I had a bit more time and I'm trying to plan around exams and things. Uh, because essentially, if people give me a, a venue, a location, and uh, pay for my transport, like, I'll, I'll almost certainly do it. Sure. Uh, so I'm just accepting whatever, whatever comes my way. So, so what? And I, this may be a question that you don't want to answer. If you don't, that's fine. What's your like your future plans, like with your channel and what you're going to uh, to school to um, to be? Like, do you plan on maintaining the, the kind of course that your channel is, or expanding, or is that going to conflict with what you want to do? Well, it's, it's tricky to say. It depends how well this degree goes. In uh, in about two years' time, just over, I should have, with some luck, a degree in philosophy and theology. If that goes well, I'd like to go and do a master's or PhD, perhaps like in the far future. That that would be great. Uh, that would probably interfere with my with my channel, but probably not much more than it's already interfering now. And it's somewhat sustainable. Like it, it can be made to work. Like I'm here, you know. Sure. Uh, I think in that situation, I'd have to prioritize education because I get this feeling that many people start on YouTube and they they. They think the Kalam cosmological argument is a bad argument, and they say, "Ha ha! Look, I've I've made this video about it." And, yeah. But but what caused God? And and they get like a bunch of subscribers, and so then they quit their job and they start doing that full time. They just run out of things to say. Sure. And someone someone brings up arguments that they don't know how to counter, uh, or or they get uh, into they get invited to speak at events because because of the, the stature they've got online, but the people who are there against them aren't there because they, they've got a lot of followers, but because they're, they've got doctorates and they're just totally out of their depth. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want to be in a position where I have to say, right, I'm done. I have to give up here. I, I, I've right. done as much as I can. So 
I'd rather sacrifice some of that and, and focus on actually having a grounding for what I'm saying sure. and then uh, and, and then doing it. But it's it's difficult to say. Uh, it it yeah. really is. But I'd like to do more public speaking, more long form conversations, more of these kinds of forums. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully the channel can can survive. Perhaps I'm sure it will. You just hit what two? Yeah, two two fifty k. Yeah, that's amazing. Congratulations. Okay, thanks. So it's a pretty crazy loss. I I watched you before I even started doing um, YouTube. Oh, wow. you, uh, I I loved your Ken Ham yeah. videos. That's how I found them too. Exactly. Ken Ham <laughs> comments, Twitter <laughs> comments. What was it that got, what was it that got you started? Like, what, when did you wake up and say I'm going to do a, a video? And what was that video? That first video. That you ever so made? I've made videos on. So I used to make videos about skateboarding. Um, which are still online. Really? Yeah, if you want to find them. Someone find those. Uh, they're fairly easy to find, actually, as well. I was just, they were just sarcastic videos, um, taking, the, taking the piss. Wait, you, well, you don't have that phrase here, do you? Taking the piss. Yeah. Uh, that means that like, like soon after a couple of these, I'll have to go take the piss. Um, <laughs> no, I'll put joking around. Yeah, like, like uh, taking the mickey. Yeah. yeah taking the like, taking I'm the Canadian, we're common. See, I'm watching enough of the Ricky Gervais yeah. show, I'm onto this, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're messing with someone if you're taking a picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Regardless, um, <laughs> I just uh, I was making videos and all sorts of stuff, and then I made a video responding to a, a cartoon from the Watchtower, the Jehovah's Witness organization. Oh, yeah. And that one did fairly well. Over a course of a few months, it got up to 10,000 views, and I hit 1,000 subscribers on the same day. Oh, no, it wasn't 1,000, sorry. It was about 400 subscribers and 10,000 views in this video after a few months. And it was crazy. I went, I, I met up with some friends and we had a drink to celebrate. Uh, but then I uploaded another video that day, which was the response to a guy called Greg Locke. Oh, and yeah. that got that got that that that, 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 that uh, we found uh, your we found it already. No <laughs> 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 he has such a nice he has a, he has an intro. He like he like he blurs into existence. <laughs> See if like uh those glasses right are there. everywhere. It doesn't yeah, even right? break down. It's fine without it. How old were you here? Man, I, I didn't watch that <laughs> nice blur into existence. Oh, UK's number one wow. kiss boy. <laughs> <laughs> Swag. I don't know why. That you should. Should. You you should. 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 Yeah, the, the, the second video you were saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, the the, so the, so the Greg Locke video. Uh, I put that on Reddit, which doesn't use Reddit and those Reddit stuff apparently. But it's not the worst. I can't like Reddit. Reddit is. Like, I, I, I get it. Like I get it. But either way, yeah. like, it, it it popped up on Reddit and um, overnight that video got 10k. And so this other video was amazing that it got 10,000 views uh, over this course of how many months, and then this video just got 10,000 views, and that was just, that was the start, like, I had, had 1,000 subscribers overnight, 10,000 views, and I was just in shock, and that was enough, like, you don't need a, a whole lot of subscribers, like, somewhere like 1,000, the right people, and the, I had, like, a post on, on the Friendly Atheist blog, um, people were, were, were sharing blogs and commenting, and it was the first time I'd ever experienced having people, like, commenting, sure, at, at a significant level, you know. Yeah, I thought this is amazing, and I figured, look, people like this. I need to jump on the momentum. So I made a similar style, so I'm uh, and so I kind of fell into it almost because that's what people people liked. Um, and then, I mean, back then I probably was more of a science enthusiast than a sure it, like college box. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I used to make a you had like Newton's law of motion. You were dropping yeah, more, more, stuff. more like kind of sciencey videos. But the, when the eighties was up, kicked off, I thought I should probably focus on that, which I did. Uh, and then that kind of moved into, into philosophy, yeah. which has always been the kind of underlying interest in both the, the science sure. and, and the and this atheist. Like to me, that the atheistic arguments I was making was just a subset of my interest in philosophy. But that's what people then kind of got to know me for. So I have to keep that up. Uh, but I'm hoping now to, to expand a little bit more into other areas. So I, I speak about ethics, morality a lot. I've talked about that with my, like Steve, um, and then talking about like animal ethics and things like that. Yeah. Uh, podcast, uh, 
the, the range of guests that I'm trying to get on means that I can talk about all sorts of different 